And my parents didn't really have much. Um, they had a small little townhouse in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, um, where, uh, as you know, nine of us were living. And one of the things that people said about our house was that that was that they noticed about my house. Number one, our house used to be a banana boat color. It was like the brightest yellow house that you've ever seen in New York City. So that was the first thing that people noticed. The second thing people noticed is our door was never locked. And you would think that would be crazy. It's New York City. But my parents during the day did not believe in locking the front door. They wanted the kids in the community to have access. They wanted us to go outside, come back inside. And everybody knew that they could come. You know, they were bored. They wanted to, you know, ha have a conversation with someone. My mom was ready to go. My dad, um, unfortunately, would be at work most of the time. But my mom had this open door policy. Everybody was welcome into our house. And so that's how I think about activism and the work that I do. Everybody's welcome. Um, everybody has the opportunity to come um, and to fight for somebody that they don't know. And sometimes people come to fight for themselves too, which is just as important. So um, my upbringing really shaped who I am today. You mentioned the uh, the banana house, the banana boat house, and something that really uh, captured my imagination uh, is that you write uh, in the book that to this day, I'm still embarrassed. The rest of our block looked a lot more normal. So I know you were very embarrassed by the by the Bright House. Um, but it's hard for me to imagine you, future activist who's going to stand in front of 1.2 million women marching through Washington, being embarrassed by, by what the neighbors might think. And you're, you're still embarrassed by the house to this day. Is that accurate? I mean, I want you to imagine a, a very typical New York City street, lots of, you know, beautiful brick brownstones. And here is my house in the middle of a typical Brooklyn street with beautiful brick townhouses and, and brown houses. And here is my house, hot yellow siding. And to be clear, when my parents bought the house, it looked pretty similar to the houses on the street when my parents bought it. It had a couple of chipped bricks on the outside. It was a bit of an older house. And my mom picked that siding. So it wasn't like we bought a house that was already yellow. My mom decided that yellow was going to be the color. And, you know, when people people would say, oh, uh, or are you going to Linda's house? They didn't say Linda's house. They, were, they said they were, they were going to the banana house. That was the name of my house at the time. That was the neighborhood name for my house, the banana house. And, you know, when you're a kid, like, look, I was a regular kid. I was embarrassed because um, I was like, really, mom, like banana. That's really what you thought when you went to the siding place you had grays and and all these other neutral tone and that's the color that you went for it I couldn't even believe that there was a siding that was that color I mean it's it was and you know so so I'm a normal person and I was really shy about my banana house um, and when I think back about it I'm not gonna lie to you I'm still a little shy thinking about it yeah but surely I mean at this point um I like to imagine because you have been um, through you, 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 you've had uh, so much of a negative reception of some of the things you you've said and done in public, like you know, saying people have rights for some reason, people want to get angry at you for 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 saying that, but the, the, that's where we live. Um, I would like to think that one upside of that would be you could wear anything you want, you could do uh, if it's your off time, if you know, if you want to sing the most obnoxious song everybody hates <laughs> as loud as you possibly can because it's your time. I would think you would be beyond. Uh, worrying about what other people think, but it sounds like maybe that's not the case. Yeah, when you're a kid, so that 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 banana house was a lot, Rob. Like it's hard to explain. Um, yeah, I mean, I was my mom wore a hijab. Like we were definitely very well known Palestinian Muslim kids. People, our mom spoke Arabic to us. Like all the things you would think I should be embarrassed that were a lot of children of immigrants. You know, kind of are a little uncomfortable with, especially if their friends are not, you know, of their culture. That was in me. I was just embarrassed of that banana house. Um, and I think that humanized me a little bit because I was one of those kids that actually didn't care. I was quite confident even as a, even as a young kid um, growing up. But that house, my mom took that house to a whole nother level. I mean, it's it's hard to explain, but it's it was like it was like a almost almost to the point where at nighttime it was almost like glow in the dark. That's how like hot yellow it was. And thank God, just so you know, about 10 years ago. When I was a whole full blown adult, 10 years ago, I was 31 years old. My parents changed the siding finally. And now the siding is great. And I said to my mom, I'm sure this very color was available 25 years ago when you decided that yellow was going to be the color of the house. But so thank God I am uh, slowly healing uh, from the uh, banana house, uh, especially now that it's not a banana house anymore. <laughs> well, I appreciate you revisiting your trauma. <laughs>